Hey guys, this is Hafiz and today I am going to show you guys how I find the real estate for the truck parking. So it's very easy. You can uh, go to any property website like Zillow.com or LoopNet.com which I'm using right now. So all you have to do just go in a search area and uh, click on the area you're looking the property. Let's suppose uh, you can search any city. So uh, let's, uh, let's suppose I'm searching in Seoul, New Jersey. Uh, okay, so I just selected the city and now I am going to click on the filter. So I want to search only a land and also I need to select the industrial properties. So these are the two categories I need to uh, search and uh, also uh, you already have a uh, city and state and everything in there just click on search and uh, you have the properties in front of you whatever the property is available right now in this area so just click on any property that you like in the uh, from the list so let's suppose uh, we have 15 listing in uh, this city so Deptford, New Jersey. All right, so we have this. I'm going to click on that. So it's a 8.87 acre, and uh, the asking for $500,000, which is uh, quite cheap uh, for nine acre approximate, and uh, it says uh, price per acre is $56,000. And they also give a location where the property is located and uh, all other details around the property. So we're going to read what the property is uh, for. So it says the property is good for uh, industrial usage. That's what we need. And, uh, and the property size is good. And the location is uh, Route 41. Perfect for transport transportation parking repairs or storage lot so they already have mentioned that is good for storage or parking and uh, also repairs so it's a very uh, good uh, property in my opinion so I'm just going to click on the pictures and uh, you see it's a square lot and uh, they also gave a dimensions on it and right next to it if you zoom in you can see there's another uh, business uh, uh, with the trucks and trailers so in my opinion as you can see on the other side there's also some uh, storage trailers uh, and activity going on and uh, it also is on the highway 40 41 so I'm just going to look at the map and then some other details and uh, uh, all right so so the location I'm going to do the satellite view all right so as you can see that uh, this property have some trees on it so need some development I need to cut the trees and that's an extra cost and uh, definitely it have uh, some trucking business on the side um, the warehouse or the storage units which is good and uh, also I want to see the location exactly where the location is you know so uh, the highway 55 is a very busy highway for South Jersey So it's right off of that highway and it's also on uh, Route 41, which is also a truck route. So uh, If you're familiar with the area, you know exactly uh, You know uh, if that is a truck uh, uh, truck route or not so right off of uh, highway 55 I'm just looking at the exits you know whatever exit number is that if there is an exit number we can always uh, see that from the satellite map so it looks like it's around like uh, exit 30 on uh, 55 and uh, and uh, the, the the Philadelphia city is not that far from there too you know so we are very close to the downtown. It's a very big city and a lot of people, they don't like to park in Philadelphia. They want to park uh, in uh, New Jersey. 
because then they don't have to cross a bridge. Uh, if they live in New Jersey, they li- uh, they park in New Jersey. But some people live in Philadelphia. They want they don't want to go to Philadelphia. So it's a very ideal location. Please subscribe the channel and uh, like the video. Also share with your friends if you like it. Also, I'm not a realtor, so do your own due diligence before you uh, buy any property. And uh, now we're going to go uh, check the other properties if there's any other property available. So you have to keep uh, looking every day. Uh, look for the properties close to you. And uh, if you know the area, that's even better. And uh, like uh, in this property, you know, you can see we need a lot of development you know from the map over here you can see a lot of trees but you have to visit the site as you can see a lot of trees uh, and uh, need a cleanup and uh, also need a lot of development so it costs money and uh, five hundred thousand dollars is a very 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 uh, good rate in my opinion so if you can negotiate the price that would be even better so the second property we see is a 39 acre which uh, we don't want that's a huge land five five million and then uh, uh in turnersville new jersey for six hundred ninety five thousand. that's the uh, square feet building so we don't want the building building it's like a warehouse or office building and the next property is like a 14 acre for 1.8 million so we're gonna check that so if you go in detail it says land commercial single family development so uh, that's not what you want single family residence so we're gonna pass on that because and the price per acre is also like a uh, hundred twenty eight thousand dollars because it's a uh, it's like a residential uh, land so you can only build houses and apartments on this you know so we don't want that the next bill uh, address we see is a Sicklerville, New Jersey address and uh, as you can see it's right in front of Wawa gas station and uh, they ask him for uh, $350,000 and it's a uh, one and a half acre it's a square land but uh, you need a lot of development on this but the location it looks like very very good location because it's right on uh, Atlantic City Expressway is right next to that which is a very ideal location uh, and the same thing is uh, close to Philadelphia and uh, it's a good lot but uh, you need a lot of development on this if you look at the satellite view you know it's all trees so you need to develop the land but uh, it's right in front of the gas station so you can actually open a gas station or uh, a truck parking in my opinion but uh, it's a small land compared to you know if you want to build uh, some big business on this you know so the next uh, property we see for like 895,000 is one acre lot we don't need that and uh, 549,000 dollars and it's a commercial lot 7.18 acre and uh, we're going through the details it says uh, three miles from 295 inter- interchange uh, investment property land commercial hold for development so single family development so same thing we don't want that and uh, the next one is 1.12 acre and uh, 8.6 acre residential income lot so Basically, we couldn't find any other commercial lots. Um, There's a commercial lot, uh, 11 acre. Uh, Believe me or not, if you keep looking through these uh, uh, listings, maybe you're going to hit a really good uh, property. And uh, maybe people don't know the usage of it. If you know, you have an idea, you know what you're going to do. And uh, once you develop that land, it's going to be... a uh, huge investment for you and it's gonna be a huge business so in this case it says a commercial property purpose use is commercial so uh, the property consists of a single family home okay so pretty much you have a single family house on this so uh, the rest of the property is uh, empty you know so 
um, I'm not sure if we have to get approval for that value is in the redevelopment of the land obviously ideal for professional executive campus medical complex public water and sewer located within 450 feet of current house so that's another uh, thing if uh, if you have a public sewer in the property or close to your property that's the that's that's very uh, good for your property because then you don't have to uh, have a, a separate septic tanks or you know sewer uh, and if, if, if it's in your property your property value is going to be high in future because if there's more developments coming in that area and they can use your uh, sewer at that time you know if it's close to your property or is in your property so when you uh, shopping for the property make sure you know look at the sewer, uh, sewage and the water all right so the next is additional 4.86 acres land lot at maple Ave included with the sale so it's two different properties i think they're selling in uh, one deal but it's a uh, it's the uh, residential lot and uh, we have to go through a lot of uh, approvals you know but uh, if you want to go through a headache you know um, you can try on these uh, properties but the best thing to do is like look for the commercial lot industrial lot and um, empty you know property which you know like it's abandoned property basically so go after that kind of lands so the next uh, uh, we're gonna try is a uh, uh, try a different city let's suppose uh, uh, somebody lives in uh, Houston Texas or uh, let's suppose uh, uh, we live in uh, Houston. Okay, let's do that first. Houston, Texas, and we're going to look for properties. So Houston, Texas is a very uh, big city. You have uh, more than 300 zip codes in there. So as you can see, a lot of properties in this area. So depend uh, if you live in the north, south, east, west, whatever area of Houston. Uh, you can uh, look properties close to you. Let's suppose a uh, spring area on I-45 is a very busy area too. But uh, as 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 soon as you leave the city area, uh, you have less restrictions. So I prefer to have a property which is uh, outside the city area. So if you're looking for any uh, uh, truck parking business try to go outside the city area because then you you're not going to have a lot of restrictions and uh, it's easy to do whatever you want to do in the parking lot otherwise they will be uh, the township is going to be bothering you all the time so all right so let's see what we have uh, okay we are just uh, in this area okay spring texas okay so all right so we're still looking for the same uh, properties and industrial buildings or lands so we have this uh, spring texas 13,500 square feet industrial building all right three hundred sixty thousand dollars it's also a building um we don't want building so all right let me see if i can change the the filters um, all right sorry I'm using my phone so it's a little bit annoying so exclude uh, condos portfolios uh, sh we can put the minimum uh, square feet or acres you know Hmm, I don't see. All right, let's see if it changes a little bit. All right, so Humble, Texas, same thing. Buildings, we don't want that commercial lot okay so humble taxes let's see 5.35 acres and they asking a lot of money all right so it's a land commercial purpose used medical commercial so 
commercial land site close to highway 59 and uh, airport grey location for medical office facility so uh, some areas you know the township they already have decided what they want to do with that area and you cannot be uh, jumping into that area and you say you want to open a parking uh, lot business because they already have plan for that area so you must have to talk to your uh, uh, the township where you're buying the property because they 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 can tell you exactly if uh, if they have any plan for that area if they don't then you can tell them what business you want to start before you buy the property so three hundred twenty six thousand dollars and what is this property it says uh Oh, sorry, it's 3.5 million. So $654,000 per acre. Nice. In New Jersey, we could buy the whole 8 acre with that kind of money, you know. Maybe uh, $500,000, we can buy 8, 9 acre. Because the tax in New Jersey is a little bit higher, uh, in taxes, a little bit lower. But in my opinion, I think the Texas land is very expensive compared to New Jersey so this property is a uh, clear land um, it's next to that mall and it's a square lot all right I mean we can go and check uh, with the with the township if they let us do the business on this property so the next property we have uh, is uh, 975000 for 1.5 acre. All right, so the Texas is pretty expensive. Let's try some other states. Uh, let's suppose uh, uh, North Carolina or Georgia. Let's do Atlanta, Georgia. We have the same criteria for this too. Um, Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. So we have. Hmm. eight hundred ninety nine thousand dollars for a commercial lot 1.2 acre uh, I mean it's a good parking business in Georgia too but if you're in Florida I think uh, as long as uh, you're close to a city area you you're always gonna be uh, uh, in need of parking lot because you know there's no parking in Florida I don't whenever I go to Florida I don't I, I can't find the parking over there so Atlanta, Georgia is quite expensive. Uh, $750,000 industrial lot, two acre. Okay, let's see. Two acre industrial land. And looks like it's a trucking business there, you know. So two acre corner traffic light parcel. And uh, that is industrial land. And they are talking about traffic how much the traffic is on this road uh, it's a corner traffic light parcel uh, corner property I mean it's good because not the you, you can't be entering from the uh, traffic light you can actually have entrance from uh, the other side of the, uh, the lot so uh, I don't like the the property you know like uh, the way you're gonna park your truck over there is gonna waste a lot of space uh, but it looks like it's a trucking business going on over there you know so some trucking activity and they're asking for 750,000 I think they already have a truck parking business here if I'm not wrong but uh, let's see it says less than one mile south of uh, the 285, I-285, and the same thing, I-675, two miles away from there. Um, and our average household income in this area is 45,000. So, 
the redevelopment project investment or on a user land industrial yes Three hundred seventy-five thousand per acre, which is uh, still expensive, but uh, it depends. You know, uh, if you if you can do any other business on this lot. Uh, description is uh, same thing. They they already discussed that on the top that they, the location and the traffic and the utilities. Uh, Okay, so they say the, the maintenance of a 5,000 square foot building is not considered to contribute to the value of the property. So they have a building, basically. It will be very easy to get financing, like I told you guys, if there's a building. Any kind of building, if it's like just standing there and you need, a, you need to destroy that and rebuild that, that's fine too. You can still get that uh, financing very easily. So... All right, and within the Cedar Grove, all the counties, you know, and uh, if you're local to that area. Uh, allows commercial use and convenience goods and services, there, thereby reducing the need for vehicular trips outside the district. Residential development is not allowed in this year, so... This is pure uh, industrial and commercial use. And you can see it's a, it's a very good uh, property, but I'm just concerned about this, uh, the shape of the property, which I don't like. Uh, uh, and it's also a two acre, so I don't know how we're gonna fit the trucks in there. How we're gonna make money out of it. If it's a, if it's a repair business, let's, let's suppose you wanna do a repair shop or truck wash, facility like that then I think it's a very good uh, even that parking small parking is gonna make you a lot of money so as you can see the location is not bad and it's like south of Atlanta and uh, right on 285 so we're gonna go for the next property and see if we can find any other let's suppose we go to a different state now as we as you see that uh, the rate for Atlanta, it's like around three hundred thousand dollars for one acre, approximate. I mean, it could be cheaper if you go a little bit outside Atlanta, uh, but uh, so far that's what we see. And uh, let's see Philadelphia. I mean, the Pennsylvania. Let's suppose we are going to get some properties in Allentown, Pennsylvania area, which is right outside uh, New Jersey. So let's see if there is a. Any good properties or the land is cheaper in that area I'm pretty sure the land in Pennsylvania is very cheap compared to uh, compared to New Jersey so let's see uh, all right so 22 acre lot industrial lot so that's like five million dollars and then there's another building in Allentown, 2,800 square feet, 265,000. That's an industrial building uh, for offices. Uh, residential, we don't want that. Industrial building, industrial buildings, square feet, 56,000 square feet. Uh, I'm just uh, looking for a small investors. I'm not looking for millions of dollars in properties because when you're a starter you need to look for small lands and reasonable prices which you can actually afford it being a truck driver or a small uh, trucking company um, hmm. so they're not cheap either you know one commercial lot 4.4 uh, acre let's see what is this Recently, the property prices, they went up uh, so much and now we can't even tell where the properties uh, are cheap. Uh, this property is good. It says commercial and industrial land and uh, it's opportunity zone. And they posted uh, in 2022, February. 
it says available for sale or lease original building on property was demolished okay so some people if they want to sell the property uh, they mostly demolish the buildings because if the property is going to be in the market for so long or maybe the building was not that good and they know that nobody's going to buy the, the the building so they try to sell it as a land and sometimes they they get more money so it's right on uh, highway 22 next to that which is uh, a good location And the price is uh, 1.4 million approximate. All right. So you can always call them and, you know, get more details. It's a square lot, you know, it's, it's really good. It's really good. And as you can see, the location is right on the highway 22. But another thing is if... Um, you should know your area where you are making a parking lot because if it's just for parking lot then you need to make sure if there's enough traffic if there's enough, enough truckers in that area or if you're close to the big city you know because if you are in a, a, a countryside areas people they can park outside their house you know they have no issues so you don't want to invest into uh, the property where you your lot is empty all the time uh, it's also hard to get the, the truckers and the, you know the customers and uh, advertise that uh, um, you're parking uh, for a business you know so make sure uh, buy a property where don't look at the price actually uh, if it's very cheap but I mean if you want to do a business you have to do in a good area good location that's what you need the most important thing is location so you have to find a perfect location so i mean just like that you can go to any state and uh, look for the properties and different uh, uh, options and uh, see which one uh, is uh, good for you and i uh, hope uh, this video helped you guys and uh, i see you in the next one thank you